Well, a 2021 report from the Commission on Higher Education says Indiana's college attendance rates dropped six percentage points in the last five years, with sharp declines happening in the last two years. As Ben Taboutier reports, educators across the state are trying to understand the downward trends as another class of high school seniors prepare to graduate. High school students and college recruiters mingle in Martinsville High School's gymnasium for a college and career fair. Some students, such as high school senior Olivia Nikoloff from Franklin Community High School, have revised their plans since the pandemic. Originally, she thought she'd get a four-year degree on a college campus. She got a job at Starbucks in high school and now plans to take the company up on its offer to pay for her to go to Arizona State University, where she'll attend online. And I feel like for students like me who um, don't really want to spend that much money on college or they don't really know what they want to do yet, this could be a great opportunity for them to figure out what they want to do. The hesitancy is something Indiana education leaders have observed in their data and it concerns them. Former Commissioner on Higher Education Teresa Lebers said in her final address before stepping down that the biggest drops have been observed in minority students, graduates, enrolling in two-year degrees and low-income groups. That's where we've seen the drop in enrollments. It's more with students who have been probably more adversely impacted by COVID. She says in the past, it was people with high school diplomas who fueled Indiana's economy. But while the number of high school graduates pursuing higher education is dropping, the number of Indiana jobs that require a college degree rose by 7% in the last year. And that's been on Carl Wagner's mind when he organizes career and college events. He counsels high school students in Martinsville about their graduation plans. He doesn't necessarily think college is the right choice for every student, but wants kids to be aware they have options. If you're going to college, you ought to know why you're going. Uh, it doesn't mean you have to have a major picked out, but you ought to know that whatever you're going to do will take a college degree. He sees schools trying to make efforts to bring students in, but isn't sure it will be enough to make enrollment tick back up. Indiana State University's Vice Provost for Enrollment, Jason Trainer, agrees with Wagner. Their enrollment is down more than 11 percent from last spring. He says ISU is cautiously optimistic, but it's hard to predict what the fall will look like. I think we, we believe there will be some sort of recovery. Um, I think most of us would, would have a, an expectation that it's probably not going to actually get back to a pre-COVID type of, of numbers. And, and some of that is just based on the workforce. There's a lot, more, um, a lot more incentives and a lot more push for um, students to go directly into the workforce. We have to, to kind of re to understand that and to make a stronger case in, in terms of their long-term career and long-term earning potential. He says ISU is responding to student shifting needs, trying to keep tuition affordable by guaranteeing that Pell Grant eligible students with a 3.0 GPA have any gaps in tuition covered and providing every ISU student with $3,000 towards an out-of-classroom experience. He added ISU is having to compete with larger state schools that have lowered test score requirements for admission. <laughs> Nikoloff wants to major in marketing and management at Arizona State. I feel like that'll really help with um, growing more in Starbucks and um, something that's always interested me, so I'm excited to start that. According to the National Clearinghouse Research Center, higher education enrollment fell 2.7 percent in the fall of 2021, following a drop of 2.5 percent the year before. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Ben Taboutier. It's graduation weekend on IU's Bloomington campus. More than 21,000 graduates will receive their diplomas there and at IU's regional campuses this year.